Hello and welcome to our learning time today. We are going to be learning today about the letter M. M looks like this and this. There's the uppercase and the lowercase M. So let's try to write the letter M, okay? So to write letter M, we're going to make the number one. And then we're going to go back to the top where we started. We're going to slide down and walk back up. And then we're going to come right back down. So that's the uppercase letter M. Let's see what that looks like on the handwriting house, OK? So we're going to make the number one first. And then we're going to go back to the top where we started. And we're going to slide down and walk up and back down. That's the uppercase letter M. So down and up and down. So make a number one and then slide down and walk back up and slide back down again. Okay, so let's talk about the lowercase m. We're gonna need to make another number one, but this number one is gonna be tiny like this. And then we're gonna keep going. We're gonna trace back up and over, over two times. So make a number one, trace back up, and then over, over two times. Let's see what that looks like on the handwriting house. It's a little letter, so that means it's gonna be downstairs. So make the little number one downstairs, and then trace back up, and then over, over two times. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Make a number one, and then come over two times. One, and then trace back up and over, over. A tiny number one, and then trace back up, 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 and over, over. That's the lowercase m. Now, I want to ask you something. Do you like cake? This is strawberry cake. Do you like cake? I love cake, I love cake. What about this? Do you like cupcakes? This one has a cherry on the top. I love cupcakes too. How about this? Do you like ice cream? I love ice cream. And when I see ice cream or cake or cupcakes, I say, mmm. I put my lips together inside and I say, Mmm, that's what the letter M sounds like. M says, mmm, you try. Mmm, what does M say? M says, mmm. Well, now that we know what the letter M says, I think we need to do some blending with the letter M. I need to know what the vowels are so I can blend. Will you help me to remember the vowels? The vowels are there they are. Nice job. A E I O U A E I O U A E I O U. These are the vowels. Okay, well, now that we have our vowels written, we're going to put the letter M with the A and see if we can blend these two sounds together. M says, mmm, and A says, ah, as like when you're sneezing. Mmm, ah, ma, ma, ma. Okay, let's do it again. This time we're going to put the M with an E. E looks like an ear. E says, eh? All right, here we go. Mm, eh, meh, meh, meh. Let's do it again. And this time with an I. I looks like an icky sticky lollipop. I says, eh. Here we go. Mm, eh. Meh, meh, meh. 
Okay. Let's try it again with an O and O says ah. Here we go. Mm, ah, ma, ma, ma. One more. Now, when I eat lots of ice cream and cake and cupcakes, I get a tummy ache and I say, oh, that's what letter U says. So let's blend these together. Mm, uh, mm, uh, ma, ma, ma. Well, if you're ready to practice blending, you practice these today. If you're not quite ready for blending and you need to remember what the letter M says, you just think about your favorite food and you say, M says, mmm, like ice cream or whatever your favorite food is. M says, mmm, mmm, mmm. Well, I want to show you the book that I'm going to be reading today. I'm going to be reading a book later. It's called, Are You My Mother? See the letter M? M is for mother. It's about a little baby bird and he's looking for his mother. So for math today, I thought that we would make some bird's nests. I'm going to show you how to make one. I'm going to use a paper bag and I'm just gonna open it up and I'm just gonna fold it down, all the way down. Down and around until I get all the way to the bottom. See, it does kind of look like a little bird's nest. Well, inside, I'm going to write some numbers. This one has the number one in it. And I'm going to put some eggs inside, but I'm not going to use real eggs because I would probably break them and make a mess. I'm going to use marshmallows instead. So this says one. And so I'm going to put one egg or marshmallow inside. Okay, what number is this? That's number two. So will you help me count two eggs for the nest? One. Two, good job. What number is this? It's number three, so let's count three eggs. One, two, three. Okay, can you please tell me what number is this? It's number four, let's count four. One, two, three, four. Okay, one more. We're just going to five and then we're going to be doing some adding. What number is this? That's number five. So let's count five eggs. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now let's use these nests and do some adding, okay? I have one egg in this nest and I have two eggs in this nest. I want you to count and tell me how many eggs all together I have. Count all the eggs. One, two, three. I have three eggs all together. So one egg plus two eggs equals three all together. Okay, let's do it again. You did a great job on that. This time, let's put two over here and three over here. So can you count how many eggs all together there are? Count all the eggs. One, two, three, four, five. There are five eggs all together. So two plus three equals five five all together. Oh my goodness, you're so good at this. Let's try another one. Let's have three eggs here and four eggs over here. Can you count how many eggs all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three plus four, four equals seven. Adding is so easy and so much fun. And if you don't have paper bags and you wanna do some adding today, you can just use a bowl. So 
So a bowl kind of looks like a bird's nest. You could even just write little numbers and put them inside. And then you can add your marshmallows or cereal or crackers or Legos or whatever you have. If you have two bowls, you can do some adding like we were doing today. Put some in this bowl and some in this one and see how many all together. Well, that was our math practice for today. And now I want to show you the book again because I want you to tell me what color the egg is. What color is the egg? It's yellow. And oh, here he is. What color is the baby's beak? It's yellow. And that's our color for today. We're going to sing about yellow and see if we can spell it together. Goes like this Y E L L O W spells yellow. Y E L L O W spells yellow. Like the early morning sun when the day has just begun. Y E L L O W spells yellow. Very nice job. Well, I want to talk about our shape for today. And our shape for today is this. It's a cone. And I have something that I picked up outside that kind of looks like a cone. Look what I brought to class today. This is a pine cone. It's called a pine cone because it comes from a pine tree and it looks like the shape of a cone. You can see that it's bigger on the top and then it kind of comes down and makes a point at the bottom. Well, we're going to use this pine cone to make a bird feeder today. But you might be wondering, why are we making a bird feeder in winter? That's because in winter time, some birds fly far away to warmer places. When birds fly to warmer places where they'll spend the winter, we call that migrating. Can you say migrate? That's to fly to a warmer place to spend the winter. Sometimes birds fly all together. Have you ever looked up in the sky during the fall and seen lots of birds flying all together? They're migrating. Now, before they take off for their journey, birds need to eat a lot. They eat lots of food and store up fat for their long trip. Now, you might have heard something about bears. They do the kind of the same thing, but they're hibernating. They eat and eat and eat, and they store up fats in their, fat in their body so that they can have a long sleep. Well, not birds. Birds don't sleep. Birds store up the fat for the long trip. There are a lot of kinds of birds that migrate. These are just some of them. Geese and ducks and storks and a peregrine hawk is the type of bird that migrates and also the hummingbird. That's the little green bird. In fact, a hummingbird is the smallest bird that migrates. It's so tiny, but it makes a really long journey. But not all birds migrate. Some birds stay at home. The woodpecker and the blue jay and the cardinal, that's the red bird you see in the picture, and the chickadee. The chickadee is blue and yellow. That's our color for today, yellow. All of these and more birds stay where they are for the winter. So it might be a good idea for you to think about putting out some food for the birds that didn't migrate because in the winter it's kind of hard to find food. Everything that was blooming is not blooming in the winter time. So we're going to make a bird feeder using a pine cone today. Now you can spread peanut butter all all over the pine cone if you want to, but a lot of people are allergic to peanut butter. So we're going to use something else. We're going to use some honey. I just, I'm going to spread the honey all over the pine cone like this. The honey kind of acts like glue. We don't want to use real glue. The birds couldn't eat the real glue, but the honey won't hurt the birds at all. And then I'm going to just sprinkle on some bird seeds. The bird, seed, the bird seeds stick to the honey. And then finally, I'm going to take a little piece of string and I'm just going to tie it to the pine cone. 
I'll do that and then I'll show you. It's pretty sticky, so make sure you have a good spot to work if you're gonna make one of these. So I'm gonna take this outside and I'm gonna hang it on a tree branch for all the birds that didn't migrate but stayed home in the winter. Okay, it's time for our story. I have a really cool story today. It's called, Are You My Mother? And it's by P.D. Eastman. That means P.D. Eastman is the author, the person who wrote the words. A mother bird sat on her egg. The egg jumped. Oh no, said the bird. My baby will be here soon and he'll want something to eat. I must get something for my baby bird to eat, she said. I'll be back. So away she went. The egg jumped. It jumped and jumped and jumped and out popped a baby bird. Where's my mother, said the baby bird. I must go and find her. He looked up, but he did not see his mother. He looked down, but he did not see her. I'll go and look for her, he said, so off he went. But there was just one problem. He didn't know how to fly, so down he fell all the way down out of that tree. The baby bird could not fly, but he could walk. Now I will go and find my mother, he said, and off he went. He did not know what his mother looked like. He walked right past her. He did not see her. He came to a kitten and he asked the kitten, are you my mother? But the kitten just looked at him and stared and didn't say anything. He kept walking until he came to a hen. Are you my mother? He asked the hen, but the hen said, no, I'm not your mother. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. Hmm, he wanted to find her, so he kept walking. Next, he came to a dog. Are you my mother? He asked the dog. But the dog said, no, I'm not your mother, I'm a dog. The kitten was not his mother, the hen was not his mother, the dog was not his mother. So the little bird went on. Now he came to a cow. He asked the cow, are you my mother? But the cow said, how can I be your mother? I'm a cow. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. The dog was not his mother. And the cow was not his mother. Did he have a mother? He thought. And then he said, I did have a mother. I know I did, and I will find her. I will, I will, I will. Now the baby bird did not walk, he ran. Then he saw an old car. Could that old thing be my mother? No, it could not. The baby bird did not stop. He ran on and on. Now he looked way down and he saw a boat. There she is, he said. He called to the boat, 
but the boat did not stop. The boat went on. Then he looked way up. He saw a big plane. Here she is. Mother, here I am, called the baby bird. But the plane did not stop. The plane went on. Just then the baby's bird saw a big thing. This must be my mother. There she is, he said. There's my mother. He went right up to it. Mother, mother, here I am, he said to the big thing. But the big thing just said snort. Oh, you're not my mother, said the baby bird. You're a snort. I have to get out of here. But the baby bird could not get away. The snort went up. It went way, way up. And up, up, up went the baby bird. But now, where was the snort going? Oh, 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 what is the snort going to do with me? Get me out of here, said the baby bird. Just then, the snort came to a stop. Where am I, said the baby bird. I want to go home. I want my mother. Then something happened. The snort put that baby bird right back in the tree, right in his nest. Now the baby bird was home. Just then, the mother bird returned and she asked, do you know who I am? And the baby bird replied, yes, I know who you are. You are not a kitten. You are not a hen. You are not a dog. You're not a cow or a boat or a plane. You are not a snort. You are a bird and you are my mother. So the mother and the baby bird lived happily together in their nest in the tree. Well, I hope you had fun today talking about letter M. You can practice your letter blend or the letter sound M says mmm. You can also do some adding today if you'd like to. And don't forget to make a bird's nest so that the birds that didn't migrate will have something to eat outside. I will see you next time. Hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.